Hey there, Yune. So here's your next correction. Copyright law. Does it limit creativity or reward it? Would our society function better without such rules? I would say that, that it's more since the advent of um, internet connectivity. So we could say mass connectivity to talk about connectivity between lots of people. Uh, it's not about what would happen because copyright laws already exist. So it is believed by some that copyright laws limit creativity. While others believe that it rewards it. This is, kind of, this is a little bit, having these double it's here though can be a little bit confusing. But this is about whether copyright law rewards or limits creativity. So saying that it should be rewarded is saying that copyright law should be rewarded. So we're, we're, we're applying it to the wrong part of the sentence. A little bit of an extra one there. Now we've included your opinion as well. Okay, so the reason that this paragraph is slightly off is that you use Beethoven as an example but copyright law only extends um, for 70 years after the owner's death. Now, Beethoven has been dead for far longer than that, so the world is free to use his works. So actually, Beethoven's works, in their entirety, are in the public domain and free to use by anyone. No one can charge you, necessarily, for listening to Beethoven. It is entirely free. It belongs to the world now. Um, so Beethoven and intellectual property protection do not go together. You would have to choose an artist like Prokofiev that died within the last 70 years. Also, we need to, we need to, in this paragraph, we need to be talking about, um, how, uh, how copyright law rewards creativity. Here you've just given a brief explanation of copyright law and told us why you believe it's good. But we need to know how it rewards creative behavior. Using an example of an artist that is still alive or that died within the last 70 years in order to have copyright law apply. Otherwise it just doesn't. Let's change this up. And economic decline and loss of life. In order to succeed and improve as a society, it is important to stick to rules, laws and regulations which can afford people it, it which can afford people 
an improved lifestyle. This should be one word as well, by the way. Um, so this is called reasoning by analogy. You're saying that when one set of laws is broken, the country suffers. And so when any set of laws is broken, the country suffers. The problem here is that the laws or each section of law is not directly relatable to any other. The consequences of each law can be wildly different from even one that appears to be somewhat related. So we need the example to be about directly about copyright law. Um, I, I under, so really what we could say is in the absence of copyright law, um, it is possible or it is likely that theft would increase. Theft in itself causes economic decline. Widespread theft, anyway, would have a negative impact on an economy. There would be no reason to trade if theft were a good option. So we, there is, it's perfectly easy for us to use a copyright-based example here instead of reasoning by analogy and taking it over to car accidents and traffic laws because the two are not directly relatable. Good. So your your opinion and your view is clear throughout. Um, this paragraph, it wasn't quite appropriate because copyright law does not uh, apply to Beethoven. So we need a, really, we need an, an example whereby copyright law does apply. Um, here, the paragraph itself is good and on point, but the example... Um, is an, is an analogy which is not analogous to copyright law. So really I think it's about strengthening your evidence, thinking about where does your idea come from. But let's have a look at your second piece. So this is a common mistake, um, but this is Madame. Madame is French, Madame is English. So this is, I am contacting you in response to the letter that I received last week regarding my absence from the geometry exam. To begin with, my name is Unesca Harris from the School of Engineering. Past tense, it seemed harmless. It tells the story a little bit better. We submit evidence for things. Present to you with my medical certificate or present to you my medical certificate. This is all good other than those minor corrections I had to make, but focus on your evidence in your task twos coming up with strong examples that are directly related. No analogies, and um, I mean, the Beethoven thing was just a slip. It wasn't a real mistake. It was just that, unfortunately, you know, he died more than 70 years ago. But I'll send these over to you now. Have a great day. I'll speak to you soon.